What's going on, family? Welcome back to the FTB Reaction Channel, man. Today, we have Tom McDonald, Dirty Money. I see you guys in the comment section telling me over the last couple of days to check out this song, telling me it's nuts. All right, so we're here for it, man. We're going to check it out, give it a spin, and see what he's talking about. If this is your first time watching, make sure you guys click like, subscribe to this content. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. Come on. They're angry that they'll never shut me up. I'm making more noise. Turn me up or turn me down. It's your choice. Black lives only matter when they got a corpse to exploit. Because the media made millions off the protests for George Floyd. That's called mm, that. Hold on. All right. So in the first couple of the bars here, he's breaking down some uh, some 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 actual facts here, y'all. Making money off just uh, making everything about the race and exploiting that, right? And, and seeing that go viral. But behind the scenes, these organizations are making millions off this topic and off that topic. So the bar with the corpse, with the George Floyd, making make sense. Let's keep it going. Come on. They're angry that they'll never shut me up. I'm making more noise. Turn me up or turn me down. It's your choice. Okay. Black lives only matter when they got a corpse to exploit. Because the media made millions off the protests for George Floyd. Mm. That's called ad revenue. They make cash selling you. All the crap. Another thing is, though, if you think about it, you guys, <clears throat> whenever this kind of thing happens to another race outside of black, if it happens to a white person, whatever, it's not like it's not like trending news. And it's not and sometimes times you don't even hear about it on the news. You don't even see it on Twitter, nowhere on social media. Um, we kind of see now it's only when it's a black person involved. Right. It's uh, and it's and it's it's pushed to us and, it's, and everybody has their own narrative. You know what I mean? So. Listen, man, Tom's on to some stuff right here, bro. They're I'm liking this stuff. never shut me up. I'm making more noise. Turn me up or turn me down. It's your, your choice. choice. Black lives only matter when they got a corpse to exploit. Because okay. the media made millions off the protest for George Floyd. That's called ad revenue. They make cash selling you. All the crap in the ads where they broadcast news. Mm. Ooh, the network full of liars got investment capital and segments sponsored by Pfizer. And the Freedom Fighters, I feel like... Hold on. Is that true? Is brought to you by Pfizer. CBS Health Watch sponsored by Pfizer. Anderson Cooper 360. Brought to you by Pfizer. ABC News Nightline. Brought to you by Pfizer. Making a difference. Brought to you by Pfizer. CNN Tonight. Brought to you by Pfizer. Early start. Brought to you by Pfizer. Friday night on Aaron Burnett out front. Brought to you by Pfizer. This week with George Stephanopoulos is what? brought to you by Pfizer. This letter report brought to you by Pfizer. Today's countdown to the royal wedding is brought to you by Pfizer. And now a CBS Sports update brought to you by Pfizer. Meet the press. Data this download. Crazy. Brought to you by Pfizer. All right. I think we get the point. <laughs> so we can definitely see like the conflict of interest of being sponsored by Pfizer and the news outlets actually purporting the news and not being biased in the reporting right so listen so far so good let's keep it going all right they make cash selling you all the crap in the ads while they broadcast news Ooh, the network full of liars got investment capital and segments sponsored by pfizer and the freedom fighters i feel like the left just plants them to infiltrate the right it's extensive planning then it happens overnight it's impressive branding make a million off a shirts that say let's go branding it's a mm. cash grab everyone's a lab rat amazon made billions of dollars from sanitizer and black man and that was crazy, right? We saw our economy damn near fall, you know what I mean? But behind the scenes, people were making millions, if not billions of dollars um, off that situation, man. So let's get back into it. Let's say let's go Brandon. It's a cash grab. Everyone's a lab rat. Amazon made billions of dollars from sanitizer and black mass. And that's that. Funny how the terrorists who had tag always come from places that are oil rich and have gas. Democrats, mm. they don't give a damn. And on top of that, you guys, the, it's always a picture being painted to us through the media that they are the bad guys, bro. It's always it's always like that, man. You have to convince, I guess, your citizens that they are the enemy. And a lot of times, it's just two people in very high positions of power who don't get along or one person who wants to take what the other person has. So they have to come up with these schemes and strategies for reasons and excuses to go over there and do these things to these people you know what i mean there's a whole lot of information that we might not even know about from their perspective looking at us you know what i mean but again time is on point let's keep it going Brad, amazon made billions of dollars from sanitizer and black mass and that's that funny how the terrorists who had tag always come from places that are oil rich and 
have gas. Democrats, they don't give a damn. What is this about? Our military trapped in the Middle East can't get them out. Heroes are the ones who had the Constitution written down. Y'all are using hero while describing Kyle Rittenhouse. One cent, mm. two cent, three cents, four. We get less and they get more. By insult since we were born. I'm liking this so far because his viewpoint on this one to me personally, it, it, it seems like he's taking shots at almost both sides, bro. He, he, he just sees everything for what it is and he's calling out everything for what it is or what it isn't, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? Come on. They want money. We want Dirty more. dollars fill their pockets while our coffins fill the ground. They make profits solving problems. They create to keep us down. Uh -huh. Dirty money. Dirty money. I don't want your dirty money. They might kill me for this song. It's all classified intelligence. Don't need to go to war to secretly be getting better. When Russia mm -hmm. launches rockets, we condemn them, but there's evidence a U.S. politician owns the screws they're assembled with. Mm -hmm. Ain't no war on drugs, it's economic. You make money. Hold on. Hold on. Run it back. I don't want your dirty money. They might kill me for this song. It's all classified intelligence. Don't need to go to war to secretly be getting benefits. Okay. When Russia launches rockets, we condemn them, but there's evidence a U.S. politician owns the screws they're assembled with. Okay. Ain't no war on drugs. Don't be, don't let it confuse y'all, man. These folks in these positions, man, they making money behind the scenes for their family, bro. All right, and uh, we'll never know about it. You know what I mean? They got, they, they shake hands with the right people, they rub so elbows with the right people, and uh, they, they, they're making moves to benefit themselves while they're telling you in the media that they're trying to make policies that benefit us. All right, don't listen to what people say. Watch people's actions at all times watch the bills they're signing what policies are they passing look at what they're doing bro come on damn them but there's evidence a u.s politician owns the screws they're assembled let's with. go ain't no war on drugs it's economic you make money off an uh -oh. inmate every jail cell is profit i know i'm stopping a lot but he's talking about a lot listen that's an also a fact you guys they make they make millions upon billions of dollars off the private prison system um there it's like it's all about money, man. It's all about the dirty money, bro. They don't really care about the person or the individual. It's all about that dirty money. And it's it's funny to me how it's like when like weed was illegal, right? They have no problem locking everybody up, throw away the key, give them five, ten years, whatever, whatever, whatever. Now it's like, oh, weed ain't that bad. Now you got businesses that are selling it legally and it's perfectly fine. In my opinion. If you're going to do that, you got to turn back around and let some of these folks go who you locked up, uh, who who sold drugs back in those days, man. Because it, it, it just, you got to make it make sense. You got to bounce that out. At least attempt to bounce that thing out. Let me know what you guys think down below. Let's get it. Ain't no war on drugs. It's economic. You make money off an inmate. Every jail cell is profit. Right. Our prisons are privately owned. Illegal marijuana just mean kids smoking weed. Turn the dollars in their pockets. Let's be Facts. honest. Domestic threats in Come comparison on. to nuclear powers who hate the West is embarrassing. Still, mm. we label truckers in the convoy as terrorists and confiscate donations. We have no idea where it is. A pipe. Mm. And that and that whole convoy situation started out people just using their rights, bro. Protesting. They didn't want to. They didn't want to. You know, wear the mask, bro, which is like they're right. You can't make forcibly make somebody wear a mask. You know what I mean? So it, that's how it started out. It got a little messy as the time as time wore on. But initially, man, uh, they were just within their rights, you guys. Um, we gotta support that. We gotta support our our rights and our freedoms in this country, you guys. Let's get back into it. So far, song is Fire, come on. Still we label truckers in the convoy as terrorists and confiscate donations. We have no idea where it is. A pipeline mm -hmm. leaks, price of gas goes higher. Mm -hmm. Stock market crash, everybody gets fired. Mm -hmm. Economy is weak while we trying to beat a virus. One trillion dollars in debt to China. We celebrate the smallest battles mm -hmm. we're winning so they can publish the headline that's going to fuel. I wonder what he meant by that, though. Everybody gets fired. Economy is weak while we trying to beat a virus. One trillion dollars. Come on. We celebrate the smallest battles we're winning So they can publish the headline that's gonna fuel the vision But if mm -hmm. we champion the crumbs, then it's crumbs that we're given And we don't make any progress, we're stuck at the beginning mm -hmm. One cent, two cent, three cents, four We get less and they get more By insult since we were born They want money We want Dirty more. dollars fill their pockets While our coffins fill the ground They make profits, solving problems They create to keep us down Let's go Dirty Ah, cha-ching. Yeah. 
Shout out to Nova, man. Shout out to Nova. Listen, listen, listen. We're going to dive right into this thing, man. You guys know how I get down on the channel. Uh, you guys, if you haven't known, check out the history of the, of the reactions um, over the past, over a little bit of time we've been doing reaction videos. Listen, sometimes I agree with him. Sometimes I don't. But I appreciate the fact that he, he, he has the courage of just speaking his mind at all times, not really worried about the cancel culture are not really worried about kickback or pushback from the media. We well, definitely get it for this video. Not gonna hold y'all. But um uh, in this lyrics, in the lyrics here, man, he touched down on a ton of stuff that was all factual, you guys. Um ton of uh just just interesting topics. Um and the one thing key takeaway I take away from Tom McDonald, bro, <clears throat> he has his post. Like he has a stump on the post of how a lot of people feel, how a lot of people think. And how they view what's going on right now. So as an artist, bro, you gotta give them credit for that, bro. You gotta give them credit for that crazy song. Um, if this is your first time watching, make sure you guys click like, subscribe to this content. Um, check the playlist, and uh, you already know. Until next time, y'all be safe out there. Peace. There